Blackberries, iPhones, Androids. These are smartphones that not only connect their users to their contacts, but give them the ability to surf the web, update their Facebook status, and check their email. I think your generation is much more social than mine. I think uh, you have been... I think people crave being social, and you guys have been given opportunities to be social, even when you're alone. But what happens when the network for one of the most popular smartphones goes down? On October the 10th, BlackBerry users on five continents across the world had their service disrupted for three days. The result? Public outrage. I know that RIM has enough money to keep their servers up. There isn't just one switch that shuts off the entire world's service. Um, they probably just got hacked by somebody else, I don't know. I apologize for the service outages this week. We've let many of you down. But let me assure you that we're working round the clock to fix this. Services such as BlackBerry Messenger, Facebook, and email were down. But users were still able to make calls and texts. So why the fuss then? I'd be quite annoyed. <laughs> I mean, I'm paying for that service and I'm expecting a service. I'd probably, I wouldn't be that upset. I'd just wait for the network to come back on. It's not that big a deal. The outage occurred just days after Steve Jobs, the CEO of Apple, which is Research in Motion's largest competitor, passed away, which prompted many BlackBerry users to switch to the iPhone. Although service is back up for Blackberries, Research in Motion is facing a class action lawsuit in Canada and the United States. This is Grace Escudero from Langara News.